Hey, what's up? Yo, black man. Well, yeah. what's up? Well, first of all, I got I just it's hot. <laughs> That's what I'm, I got this fan on. Wait, I'm gonna turn off in just a second. Let me finish. What I don't think I'm gonna do the licorice tea tonight. I'm gonna do uh, my chai robos. You know, at nighttime I okay. take tea, especially when I'm talking. Chai robos. Uh, chai robos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Let's say. Let me turn this fan up. It's hot, man. In fact, the dog is in here with me. It's so hot. Dogs say, "Hey, <laughs> it's hot now." <in> so, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll put this thing and let it steep. It's supposed to steep for how many minutes? Let me read this bad boy. Blah blah blah. I don't tell. You. Well, it's caffeine free. I mean, <clears throat> I means I'll get to sleep tonight. Well, I'll sleep anyway. Yeah. You know. Oh, so steep five to six minutes. That's not too bad. Oh man, lots yeah. been going on. What's been going on in your world before I get to my world? Oh uh, just been busy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well that's good. Those uh, side projects. Oh yeah, it's definitely fun, definitely good, you know. You know. Keeps uh, me busy, keeps me functioning, it's creative. Oh, okay. You know, I like it. Well, I was about to say, you know, because an idol of mine is a devil's workshop or whatever they say. It's a Sunday. I guess I can say those things, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> man, so hard. I had to change my T-shirt, man. I got a new T-shirt. Remember? Oh, yeah? Yeah, remember before I told you one of the people that watches this guy, uh, uh, Brother Ron, and uh, We All Be Radio, Radio All Be, whatever he uses, has Joe Brown on there, other stuff. Mm-hmm. Used to have uh, Dick Gregory on a lot, you know. Dick, yeah. Dick Gregory liked him. But anyway, I, I got a T-shirt from this. Let me show it to you here. Well, you can't see it, of course. It's a rendering of uh, Ida B. Wells. You know, some people will say it's, you know, it's like a. But I, 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 you, when you when you look at it, when you see the when you see the T-shirt, you know, over the, you know, when you see the whenever I post it, I post this tomorrow because I'm too I'm too tired tonight, man. I'm going straight to sleep. Yeah. Then again, I get up early in the morning, so I'm supposed to, you know, talk about stuff that we that, that uh you know the the you know we we gave we gave the uh our what do you call it subscriptions right uh, the other week and you know I talk about we all be I did I did mention a uh, real news network out of Baltimore, which usually they have, they have Aaron Maté on there and stuff like that, but you know I forgot to what well, they're always associated, but you know Gray Zone is in there. Gray Zone is good. Uh, oh really? Yeah, Gray Zone. He's here. Aaron Maté does that. You know, Aaron Maté came out of well through Democracy Now. You know, yeah. Uh, you know, it's like, it's like all, all the people that are going through Democracy Now. You think you think Democracy Now would be smart? They would have at least you know like like some links or some websites associated with them, or whatever. But you know, they don't think you know. <laughs> they, <ain't wrong> <laughs> <laughs> they have a real network. <laughs> have you heard of um the Hill TV? Sure, I watch them all the time. That's a uh, uh, Crystal and Saga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. I like it. Well, as far as far as well, yeah, they've taken over. They've taken over that space that other people have, and and you know, they're good. They're good. You know, they yeah. they, they don't bitch and moan, and and you can tell they really have some. Uh, how do you say it? some insights? They have some contacts in that in yeah. that world. So that's yeah. good. Uh, but but you know who I watched this week? Oh, I it, guess what you're saying. They're a trusted news source. <laughs> Yo, man, man, nothing's a trusted news source as far as exactly. I, <laughs> I just had to say it. <laughs> like I tell people all the time, you know, I came through the '60s, man. We would, we would, we would read Ramparts magazine as well as you know the the the, the whatever New Republic or whatever the hell is going on. We we we'd read everything, you know. Yeah. And and yeah. most of these people, are, maybe it's no, there's not too much because when you realize, when you really look, a lot of these people are just echoing each other. And, and yeah. or, or they're waiting for something to come out and they're reacting to that. Yeah, you know, exactly. They, they are now no, more than ever. You see, it. yeah, there are there there are no I F stones. You know, you, you can figure all that. You know, so yeah. so I don't, now everything everything today is about trends. Mm. It's a trend. Something starts, then it's a reaction, then it becomes a trend. So something else starts, and they react, and that becomes a trend. And you know the other thing is once once they get their once they get their, their herd in place, then it's hard to pull the herd out for, to run to someplace else. You know they get this oh, yeah, thing. Yeah. 
When, when, when I think I told you. Well, the hurt gets on your case if you try to pivot. <laughs> well, one of the things I, I and you, I'm sure you know this, but you know, one of the things I really liked about working, uh, well, working with tasking with uh, emanations, you know, with, with Bernard, was that you know we do something, and then we, and then when then we, when it would hit and people would start, we say, okay, we're done with that. What are we gonna do next? And we run to the next. We go to the next thing, you know. Yeah, so, exactly. That's the best way to do it. But uh, but now one of the really great things that happened this week, I always. Um, is uh, Matt Taby and Katie Helper just doing uh, the Useful Idiots? Did you did you did you check them out? No, I haven't. Oh man, Matt, you know well Matt Taibbi, you know Matt Taibbi, so you know he's going on. Well, man, my voice is going. Um, uh, but he did. They did. Uh, let me. I, think I took some notes. Uh, they usually do this whole thing in the beginning, you know, evaluating the media. Something happens to be some irreverent story, some good, you know, whatever it is. But then they usually have a good guest, you know. And this time they had uh, Dr. Robert Gallo. Now, I don't know if you know who he is. You shouldn't because he's a he's a virologist. You know, he's a he's a he's a like a one of those biomedical kind of, you know, bio but, you know, the researchers, you know, the people I keep on yeah. telling people you should you don't be listening to these people that have doctors in front of their names and they're really just, you know, administrators or don't listen. Shouldn't you should be listening to politicians. But, you know, but you have to go to research, real researchers. You got to go to sources. And in this field, if you're going to if you're going to be dealing with a virus, then you go to virology. You know, you find a you know, that's what you do, you know, and that's what I respect about Matt and them, you know, because he does that kind of thing. But anyway. This guy, Robert Gallo, he, you got to, first of all, I'm not going to do it justice. So you really got to check it out, man. Just useful idiots. Just go to, listen. You can skip the thing in the beginning. Just get to the, to, to the guy. He's he's very communicative. Well, he's still a scientist. So you're not going to, you know, you've got to pay attention, right? But basically, <laughs> he, run, he runs this thing called the uh, Global uh, Virus, the global, yeah, global Virus Network. And when you think about it, it makes sense, you know. But he's he's the one he 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 found the uh, I want to say the trigger something about HIV, you know. Like he tr- found the the, the 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 he developed the 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 first anti the antiretroviral kind of thing, you know. He's the one that first. Right here. Say again. I see it right here. Okay, yeah. Okay, you, you looked him yes, up. I'm, I'm a bookmark. Okay, okay. So anyway, but you know, he went to this whole thing, you know. Look, let me put this when 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 AIDS. Let me go back to AIDS, right? Remember, yeah. I, remember, I was a lab technician in in in, in Air Force, but but now that that might not seem like anything. Oh, lab, it take but no. When you train a lab technician in Air Force, you do everything. You know, serology, yeah. parasitology, hematology, chemistry, blood banking, just the whole. You 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 do everything. You know, and uh, autopsies. You know, just everything. And so when I got out the Air Force, I was I was a lab technician for, for a little while at, at Princeton, where at the time it was Princeton Hospital, changed to Princeton Medical Center. That's when I first, I first found out about administrators, because you know, when it was Princeton Hospital, we had doctors, right? But then yeah. they changed to the Princeton Medical Center. Then we started having administrators. And administrator start, they're just bad. They're middlemen, you know, that don't know nothing. That's that's what you should just think about that. But anyway. And let me just so so when I, so when I got back up then then you know I went to school blah 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 and then when I got back up to New York in the eighties right because it's the middle of the seventies that I got out of the Air Force in the eighties and and I was first aware of AIDS being hit and everybody's wondering what's the vector what's going on what's going on what's going on and then as soon as they said hemophiliacs were getting it I said it's the blood. <laughs> It's the blood. And my I was going crazy. I was going trying trying to tell people it's the blood. It's the blood. Don't you understand? The blood's gotta be the vector. Because the hemophiliacs get it. But what happens with hemophiliacs, you take a bunch of blood, you spin it down, you get the you get the plasma down, then you get the platelets, and the hemophiliacs get the platelets. So they were getting blood from all kinds of sources. So if hemophiliacs was getting it, and you know, that that means that it had to have something with the blood. You know, yeah. meanwhile they say it was a gay disease or whatever they were saying or whatever. And then at the same time, because I was back in New York and I was I was seeing what was going on, you know. But by then it's like the you know they had, the, the gay people had a had a a, a whole a, well gay homosexual men I should say they had a, a whole well, homosexual men they had a whole you know at least nine years of of, of no, oh we're free and, and the free love and doing those and the, and the baths and all the rest of that stuff so they were just boinking all over the place and popping the things and whatever have you but because they were so for lack of a better word, promiscuous they, yeah. they um and 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 uh, crack was coming in so heavy 
to uh, they had the money. They have, of course, they have uh, money. They would just go to 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 crack dens or go to to, to strung out dude and be boinking them. You know what I mean? So yeah. so 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 basically, so now you had you had the um what you call that the the, the intravenous community. You know, uh, get, get, getting uh, uh, getting infected, right? And then, and then, plus the, the 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 homosexual men was getting infected back, so he was going back and forth. And then when so so people were trying to figure that out. Then of course the Haitian yeah. the Haitian thing came in. I don't know what that was about. I think that was I don't know what that was about. But when yeah, once they said also some of the men that were like uh, you know not out you know they weren't well, out yeah. so they were in I guess you know no, but download the downloads affecting their women yeah exactly the downloads and all the rest of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, the downloads, yeah. And uh, and so, but as soon as they said hemophiliacs, I knew right away, you know. And so what I'm trying yeah. to say is, don't don't reason why I knew is because I was a lab technician. I knew, yeah. you know. So I'm trying to say, if you're not in that field, you're not going to see certain things. You know, you're going to be guessing or whatever, blah 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 blah. And then plus now you have in this day and age, uh, when with the money is a factor. You know, all these people, when you, especially when you have somebody like Bill Gates say, oh, we're going to get, we're going to get the immune system, let's, we're going to get a, a vaccine and we're going to, you know, uh, we got to test it on some Africans first and whatever it is, whatever they're doing, right? The first thing you have to understand, all that means is that there's money factor. You know, these people are trying to make money. So they, they try they, to, so all the, not all the countries, but at least America, they're holding back and, and not trying to do anything else but telling you wear a mask and you know now they're telling you wear goggles and a mask and whatever else they're telling yeah. you to do a distance whatever it is but also also the, the uh, face shield now too your fa- oh the face shield yeah, people been doing face shields that's the face shields are pretty pretty cute looking man you know in fact you know I think I'd get me a face shield because I'm, I'm talking to this guy this uh, this Trump guy who don't wear a mask and I'm sort of protected almost like you know I do my little thing but um, yeah. but I need a face shield for him I think I do so I'm not, where, where do you get face shields from? Maybe I'll look into that. You know, um, looking up something right now. Hold on a second. I mean, can you <laughs> can you get it from Walgreens? Let's, <laughs> let's no, put, but but I did see them at Staples though. Uh, I don't have a Staples. Do I have a Staples? Yeah, you have a Staples now. I don't think so. I don't know. I, I can look it up. I can look it up. I just look up face shields, man. I have. Now I'm not going to pay Amazon to to, to get it right away. I'm, I'm, yeah, there's there's a site called usashields.com. U S A Shields. Well, that's probably S H S H E. Well, D S dot com. Um. Oh, what was I say? Uh, 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 but I do have goggles, you know. Because my brother, you know, my brother had goggles, you know, so that's one of the things he left, and I, I got the goggles, so I can, I can wear them for the time being. But I like, I like the, I think the face shield is, is better because it's, it makes yeah. a statement. <laughs> yeah. And you can still wear a mask I under used to, it. I used to have uh, use face shields when I used to work. Mm. Oh and really? I used, used to do the um the pressure washing it's called mobile wash. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know yeah. those things. Mm. I, I used to love the face. I love the face shield. <laughs> yeah, I seen. A, a, it just I was, made you seem like, oh wow, you know, this, this cool. is some heavy duty stuff I'm doing here. But you know, as we said, uh, uh, well, Corey didn't come come on this last week, but a couple of weeks ago, Corey Holcomb on Fifty Fun Fifty this had this guy and his and his son. They had they had the face shields. I think they look cool. I think they're the best. But anyway, back to this guy, um, uh, Doctor Robert Gallo. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's saying that basically, look. But I'm gonna just cut to the chase. He's basically saying uh, OP, OPVs. You op, just take OPV. But he's not saying that. He can't say that because they did in trials, whatever have you. Because uh, the, the OPV is uh, oral polio vaccine. It's easy. They're, they're like he's saying they're like like 15 cents a tablet. You know, so they're cheap. So you you know you know what's happening. These companies are, are trying to get some big old immune thing, whatever. They got to cost a lot of money to whatever have you. Meanwhile, you know. I'm, I, in fact, I'm writing my my um, in the in the VA system. You know, you got the my vet thing, whatever it is. I can get on the computer and say, I'm say, yo, I want some OPV. Send it to me. I'm see what they do. Um, but that's what he's saying. You know what I mean? Uh, because what's going to happen? Even they get a, a a virus. First of all, he says it's going to take. It takes. Say they even got the 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 immune thing in six months or whatever it is. It's going to take another eighteen months to figure out if the sucks if the thing is is effective. 
What yeah. you gonna do about that? You know, so so we we we're, we're in a world of hurt. Uh, let me put it that way. So anyway, but but he's but watch the watch the cast. Well, watch that watch that thing, man. It's it's well worth it to see what he says. He walks you through the whole thing because it's, he says this oh this uh, oh this oral uh, polio uh, uh, vaccine. It it works within like two hours, you know. <laughs> You know, and it's, I think it's just a determined, whatever, just, just, just check it out. You know, like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to write the VA and, you know, the modern yeah, way. So, I yo. see, um, there's another video too, where he's on it with, um, a man of poor in company. Oh yeah. Well, she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's out of, what, what is she doing now? Wherever she is now, she's no longer with CNN, wherever she was, she's someplace else. Yeah. I like that. So that's one thing. So that's, that's been hidden. Um, and then, of course, I I don't know if you. I think I sent you a thing about um about uh, 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 the uh, magnesium. Yeah. Yeah. I checked it out. I know magnesium a long time ago. What I do with magnesium, I, I haven't had it in a while because basically, when my buffered vitamin C have that magnesium in it, right? Yeah. But uh, I, what I used to, what I usually do uh, before I came here, in fact, my, at the undisclosed location, I have magnesium tablets. And what I would do is, before you go to sleep, you take a magnesium tablet before you go to bed. You know. So now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to take. I just got this. Uh, it's called Source Naturals Mag Magteen Magteen. It's magnesium and L three uh, three whatever it's the. Uh, for learning and they say it's for learning and memory, but you know it's basically uh, uh, six uh, six hundred sixty seven uh, milligrams or mg's ninety tablets. So you got to get like you're supposed to have six hundred um, milligrams a day. So six six sixty seven is to be a good stead. They say take uh, three capsules uh, a day, but I'm only going to take one at night like that because, like I yeah. said, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I think they just sleep right. Supposed, I don't know if it helps you. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be good, but I do. It I like it's supposed to. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, maybe I remember. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe it does. But like I said, uh, see, I space all my supplements out. You know what I mean? In the morning, I take certain things. And then when yeah. I come back from my walk, I take certain things. Then in the, then late in the morning, I take another thing. Afternoon, I take something like I, you know, I, I'm, I'm just, I spread that stuff out. And then a lot of times, not a lot, but sometimes I don't do something. Like, for instance, like say my um my uh, vitamin D and, and calcium right I'll take it I'll take it when it's like a cloudy day whatever when it's a sunshiny day and I'm be out in the sun I don't take it you know uh, because I just don't take it you know so I end up taking it uh, two or three times a week rather than you know every seven days and then I, of course every afternoon when I remember well, I remember I usually remember I'll take um I'll take the uh, uh, apple cider vinegar tablets. I, I sort of think that's smart. And, you know, yeah. I, I just spray things out. I don't like to be dependent on no, no stuff like that. So I'm going to start with this magnesium. I didn't even open the thing yet. So let's see what happens. Oh, talking about opening the things. Hey. Yo, man. Okay. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I have... Uh, let me get my other... Well, I first of all, I'm, I'm sort of brand loyal to certain things, right? Like, for instance... Oh, I'm, yeah? Yeah, I'm, 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 re I'm, I'm recording this on my OnePlus. This is my OnePlus 6, right? Maybe right. sometime next year I might get the I might get the new one the whatever they call it the, the whatever that one it's a uh, you know I don't know I'm I'm gonna get another one plus but not not when they put it out now it's called the, the not the zoom it's called a, it's called a something that it's got a four letter word uh, like that but I'm gonna probably get it like maybe maybe when I come back from my trip I'm taking a trip taking a train trip did I tell you I didn't tell oh, yeah, you where you going. Oh, let me tell you where I'm going. Close, right? I'm, no, <laughs> I'm I'm glad you asked. No, I'm glad you asked. If they okay. let me over, if they left me over the border. Okay. See the whole yeah. thing is that because I'm since I'm stuck here, this is not like, you know, because you know, when I get out of here, I'm going straight to I'm going straight to Africa and my wife, I ain't moving. I ain't going no I'm gonna stay there forever. I, would, <laughs> <laughs> I just talked to her today, man. It's fine. I'm gonna post the thing by Wednesday it'll be posted, right? It's quite funny. We had a conversation. She's man, anyway. Uh so I'm gonna go from um I mean I gotta go back to New York and go to go vote in November, whatever happened. I'm gonna spend Thanksgiving with um Thanksgiving with, 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 with my sister, you know, do the whole Thanksgiving thing. Then I come back 
to New York for a little while, whatever. But then right after Christmas, I'm on a take. I guess I don't have the itinerary in my But like, I think it's the 27th, some 28th, somewhere around there. Yeah, 27th. Yeah. I take a train. Well, I'm going to come back here to St. Louis. Right? Uh, maybe I'll spend Christmas here in St. Louis. But then like the 27th, I think is the thing. I get on the train in Chicago and I go to um, I go to Seattle. Right. Then, okay. then I'm there. I'm just, and then I go over the border, whatever have you, to Vancouver, and that, that's New Year's New Year's Eve. I'm, I'm actually in a hotel room on New Year's Eve, you know, at the Sheraton. Hey, it's Sheraton. Um, okay. On New, so New Year's Eve, you know, uh, where I can curse and I can actually alter my state because you know, twice a year I can I can curse and I can alter my state on New Year's Eve and on my birthday, you know. So yeah. You know, I'm pure right now. I mean, I, I, I ain't even drink no. I can actually drink. Well, I haven't even drank any. I haven't drunk any nothing. <laughs> oh, pure as the driven <laughs> snow, <laughs> which is good. It's it's fine with me. Uh, yeah. But anyway, so New Year's Eve, I'll be in Vancouver. Hey, I'll be in oh, Vancouver, nice. uh, and I'll be now. I won't be on the train. I'll be at the Sheridan. I'll be hanging with the people. You know, I mean, uh, guzzling champagne or whatever they do. I don't like champagne, but you know, yeah. I'm I don't like champagne, but you know, bubbly <laughs> like that. Anyway, then the next day, then that day, the next day, I guess the first, whatever it is, I take the train from Vancouver to Toronto. So more, five days, five days. That's a five day trip. That's right. And 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 from uh, from what do you call um, Chicago to uh, to Seattle? I think it's two days, two two days, something yeah. like that. So I'm a, I'm in, I'm 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 in blissful heaven. But what I'm going to yeah. do is, you know, I got my let me show. I got my ear, my ear. <laughs> I'm a I'm a, I'm an urban ears guy. I think or urban ears. So I have my Bluetooth urban ears, but this is the one that has like a good bass, so it's good for my music and, and like that yeah. for music stuff like that. But then I got this urban ears that's very light, you know, around the neck and stuff like that. Uh, I'm showing the box right now. I guess I can take the whole thing out, and show it to you. I don't know, there's nothing that's wrong. Anyway. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this because this doesn't I don't think this has a good base. At least that that's what the 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 the, the scuttle butt on it is. But yeah. uh, I don't want it for well it's because it's light around the head because I'll be in train for five days and now I'm gonna be talking to people whatever it is. But what I'll be doing is listening to podcasts and stuff like that. I'm not interested in music, you know. But this is it right here. It's nice and light, man, and it goes around your goes around around your neck. Yeah, urban ears. Anyway, it goes goes around your neck like that. Hey, something's banging on your phone, man. It's not me. Somebody's banging on your phone. Yeah, I don't know who's who the heck is trying to contact me. Like that. So anyway, but the only thing that this urban is, I don't like to stick anything in my ears, so I don't know how this is gonna work. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so so that's what I'm gonna do there. So that train trip is gonna be that. But I got another package in the mail, man. Hey, look, I'm here in this in America. And so I'm taking an American thing because I know, see, where I am in, in South Africa is a rural area. So, you know, FedEx just come, don't come to your door and drop you off and whatnot. It's, it's like I'm, I'm seriously in a rural area. This is not the big city, you know. <laughs> oh, man, I'm trying to open this package. So I've been I've been just ordering stuff like a band. Well, I shouldn't say it, not like that. I'm going to be taking these are necessary stuff. But I do have to get another copy of... Um, uh, I have to get um, um, what's name uh, com com uh, the compensatory concept. I uh, miss Nilly Fully Junior's books, so I can just put it in the library here. See what Jake did. Yeah. I mean, I got copies in in Africa. I got copies in I got copies in New York. I got copies in Virginia. I, I support the man, so I don't care. <gasps> oh yeah. yeah! Oh, here's the book. Yeah, I gotta get that book. Yeah, just go to producejustice.com. And that's not that expensive. You just do it. Do it. You should have it in your library. You don't even have to read it, man. It's like a Bible. It's like a it's like, you know, you're supposed to just look at it once in a while. Let me ask you, do they have a digital version, you think? No, 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 they don't. But no, 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 you don't no, you don't do this with a digital version, man. You got look, I ain't gonna say nothing to you. I told you what to do. Don't 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 ask me no more. <laughs> <laughs> man, you modern people. Yeah. Look, look what I got, man. Oh boy, I got something to yeah, read. Yeah. I think called Breathe by that guy that I saw on Joe Rogan. The New Science and Lost Art of Breathing, James Nestor. This is oh, like a Breathe, you got it now. Oh, 
I just got hard, hard covered. Darn it. Yeah, I was going to say, they have a digital version. I got to check. <laughs> Man, I, I think they do. And I'm sure they have a digital version. I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a tactile guy. You know, I'm into, yeah. I'm into strategy, tactics, and being tactile. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. It's pretty good font, whatever have you. No, no problem. It's not, it doesn't look like a bad read. But, you know, I know, I, I, I know breath work, you know, so like, so I got that. Yeah. I think the next book that's supposed to come, also, I think, or no, order for someplace else. I should be getting this soon as my somatics book. But I'm not, yeah. trying, I'm not trying to go high, heavy on that because, ooh, my workout's getting good. Oh, man. I'm getting yeah. there. Everybody, see, let me just explain one thing and I'll stop talking. No, we got to move on to something else. But when I learned Tai Chi, I learned Tai Chi in uh, in uh, Cape Town. And yeah. I'm, I'm serious. But I was doing Tai Chi, not for Tai Chi. I was doing it for the Qigong exercises in the beginning. Because right. I was trying to heal. You know, try to heal my... my <laughs> I was trying to heal, recover. But, you know, f- literally for the whole first year, we went up just to the first part of... Uh, uh, crane spreads, spreads his wing. You know, you yeah. do the whole thing, and you do you, you do the whole thing. Then you do the uh, parting the horse's mane. You go back to the thing, and then you go to, then you go crane spreads his wing. It's like it's like so for a year. That's all we did. But what yeah. people don't know, if you just do that, everything else is based on that first movement. The yeah. rest of the stuff is based on that. So as soon yeah. as you got that down, and then well, you actually did, took it for a little while. When I say a little while, like meaning like. For like about two, about two months, I did it. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Now go back to it, man. I'm telling you, it's it's very. Oh bad. yeah, I would love to. Like sure? I'm saying, I was in a class where the you know the teacher was authentic and stuff like that. Now I guess I have to you know. Well, Tai Chi, like Kung- a lot of people, you know, well, look up on YouTube or something like that. And, you yeah, know, you do my thing. If you did it already, see, Tai Chi Kwan is what you want. Uh, or yeah, uh, yeah. C H. A N, whatever you say, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, yeah. If you go to YouTube, then what'll happen is you'll remember the moves, so it's easier for yeah. you just to see and just do the moves. That's what I do. But I'm trying to. I brought that up because with the somatics, there's a thing that you do the, the first few moves. I'm just doing that for like the rest of the month. You know what I mean? Just yeah. doing that, just doing that, and I'm, I'm not, like every week I move on to the next. <laughs> Somehow I'll, I'll accelerate this thing, but I, I insist that when you do stuff, you have to start the basic thing that you do. You do that for as long as as, as you can. Let's put it that way. That's you know, yeah. until you get really bored. Um, yeah. but, but you know, we were supposed to do this week. We were supposed to do um, uh, ADOS. We we're supposed oh, yeah. to, we're supposed to do. I'm not in a hurry to do it. We don't even have to go that far. Uh, I might even wait till next week or something like that. We might have to do this on Thursdays and Sundays. I don't know, man. There's so much stuff. But um, I wanted to do the, uh, everybody's doing ADOS reparations. And they talk about the money. So I want to do the money and get that over with. But let me say this before we do anything. What Did you see anything that I sent you, though? No, no. What? Where? Who? How? What? Who, uh, what? It was about, um, it's called, um, let me find it here. Let me find it because, uh, you're gonna like this. Really? Okay. Yeah. Maybe I got it and I don't. Yeah, I emailed it to you. Oh, if you if, if you like, if you email yeah. it to me, I got it someplace. What what's it called? It was called um uh, What is the name? <laughs> Hold on a second, I'm gonna find it right now. Yeah, get it together, black man. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, I'm gonna find it right now. Yeah, I'm going go on my history. But I want to say, my history, I'll find it. But but you know something else that's been strange, man. This happens yeah. to me all the time because you know I've been I've been on a, a Jay's Baldwin tale for about two weeks, right? Yeah. And then just the other day, I saw Eddie Eddie um, that guy Eddie uh, uh, Glaude, Glaude Eddie Glaude Jr. from out of Princeton. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's the name? Uh, Trevor Noah was interviewing him a couple of days ago. And he's, he gets his new book on, on, on Baldwin. And this is what happens. This is what I'm trying to say. Hey, look, I'm a good barometer. Let me tell you. If I, 
I, I, I don't know how, I, I used to have this t-shirt that said, oh, Jerofaro. I, I got this, and I used to have it anyway. And then the, the definition is supposed to have been, I don't even know what language, it's supposed to be some Southern African language. I haven't been able to run it down. But it's a person that can see just beyond the horizon, just beyond the curve when it's coming. And true enough, man, I'm, I'm into, I'm heavy into James Baldwin. And this guy just wrote a book, and like, James is the answer. All the stuff that people do oh, yeah. with this new stuff, forget this stuff, man. You can go back, check out James, and and you know and you know what Bubba did. Just you know you know, but you know, and now they then they call him uh, Pedo Bill, Pedo Bill. You know what Pedo Bill did? Yeah, at the funeral, he done he done. You know, he he first of all trying to eulogize. You know. Uh, the, the boy John Lewis, you know what I mean? You know, I got I got in a hit in the head, and I didn't nothing since I'm just the conscious of the of of the white people, you know, to remind them that that you know they hit us in the head, you know, and so he's up there and he and he brought up Stokely Carmichael, Kwame Torre. What, what, why'd you even do that? The man, why? I, I was freaking out. I said, what? I, I didn't even see the funeral. I just saw that clip. I said, what's the matter with you? But now we done. He done open. He done open a can of whoop ass for sure. Cause you know everybody jumping on that. Because now they're playing Stokely Stokely's clips and stuff like that. Shucks, man. Hey, this is what we're talking about. A lot of people say, "Oh, he makes sense." Oh, yeah, he makes sense. Yeah. Yo, hey, no what? Yeah. No wonder. <laughs> you know. So anyway, so that's happening. Uh, uh, so anyway, so I'm, I'm I'm bringing that up for a reason. Why am I bringing that up? Um, because yes, yeah, so, well. I'm saying if you go to, if people start going back enough, you know, you get to somebody like, uh, well, Carlos Cooks didn't put out no, no stuff, but you know, yeah, you, 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 you get to some people, you know, uh, man, I'm not, I'm, it's one guy I wanted to say, ah, man. anyway, people are going to start researching. That's, and that's, and that's a good yeah. thing. Well, maybe not well, everybody, but not everybody, but people are going to start researching. Yeah. It's, it's funny, right? Because, um, I won't name his name, but another brother that we all know from back in the day and stuff like that has been putting up. He put up um, on Instagram an uh, Esquire cover that said, uh, James Baldwin tells us how to hold it this summer. Oh, that must be the, that must be that Esquire article that I, that I, I, I read that Esquire article. Because I have a book here. Uh, I should run and get it, you know. Oh man, I go anyway. I got a I got a Baldwin book I've been reading up because it's it, the other essays. Oh, yeah. man, I gotta get it. This yeah. was um, July sixty eight. Oh yeah, yeah. He was hot. You gotta remember that cover. I, I, he had a whole bunch of brothers like leaning, sitting, standing around blocks of ice. Hey man. James is a I'm going to screenshot it and send it to you at some point. Hey, listen, listen, man. The riff for it has a Time magazine cover you got, too. Well, well um, check. What uh, is that? I remember, I remember the Time. Another Baldwin cover. You remember that one, right? Yeah, I know the Time magazine cover. L- yeah, listen, listen. That's it, too, yeah. Look, look, black man, black man, listen. I'm yeah, going yeah. to run to the other room and get this, uh, and get this um, Baldwin book, right? Yeah. Now, remember, this is radio. For us, this is radio. Yeah. You know, radio, the, the, the rule of radio, people don't understand. As I'm talking to only you, I'm talking to one person. Radio, you got that microphone, and like Arthur Graves said, you're talking to one person. People don't understand the art of radio. I'm not talking to, so, uh, hello, audience, but no, nah, I'm just talking to one person. I'm talking to you. But radio has, <laughs> radio has this other thing. <laughs> radio has this other thing, which means no dead air. So I got to right. leave the room. So you got a okay. riff. I don't know what you're going to riff about, but you're on. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh. I'm on right now. Okay. Yeah, go, man. So, yeah, the thing that I was trying to talk to you about before was this uh, book called The Color of Money, Black Banks and the Racial Wealth Gap. And it's by, uh, what is her name? The name is Marcia. Bararadon. Bararadon. Yeah. What's what's the name? Russia Bararadon. What, what's? I believe she's Indian. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah. what, wait a second. So uh, I sent you. I think uh, maybe the first part. Because she has a three-part interview 
with actually another Indian guy mm-hmm. on the real the real news dot com. Okay. Okay. And then um she was on PBS News Hour. And then there's another one, because she's from Harvard. Okay. So um Harvard produced the book. Mm-hmm. So what this book talks about is, you know, systematically, and I think in a more clever way than others that I've seen, mm-hmm. where they talk about how, you know, we got robbed of the 40 acres and the mule. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. You know, it talks about the red line, it talks about this and that, but she goes, like, deep into it where, is this the co- because is this- she's a, a finance person. Is this the color of money? Yeah, uh-huh. I got that book. I read it. Oh, you that book? No, that was part of a Breaking Brown book club. I got that yeah. book. It said, "Where is it right now?" I think it's in. Uh, I think it's in Virginia right now. Yeah, I read right. that. Did book. you read it? Yeah, I read part. I read parts of it. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think? Great. Hey, man. That this is what's good about ADOS, man. It's the grounding. It's the grounding. Yeah. That's the. Point. I find it interesting because here's someone that I guess they would consider like, oh, well, this is a brown immigrant. Mm-hmm who's writing about, you know, ADOS from a perspective like, like it's like she doesn't have any um skin in the game, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not like if it was someone Caucasian doing it. Yeah. Or someone ADOS doing it. You know, it's like, oh, I'm sort of an outsider that observed this and now I'm going to report this. Mm-hmm. I think, I think, I th- I'm sure, yeah. Um, who... Uh, Antonio Moore interviewed her. Okay. Yeah, yeah. On check, tone tour. Um, I just want to. I want to do the. I don't want to do the money. This, this, this. Um, the the uh, reparations money. The bag, as I say this year. Yeah. But I want to say one thing yeah. about the bag. Before yeah. anything thing happens, like, let me put it this way. Uh, you remember? Do you remember Ron McGee, my my partner in crime for radio, Ron McGee? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You. You remember him, right? Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. So, because we went to school together, we graduated the same class, which was fantastic because Ron and I was like the same height, the same kind of profile. You know what I mean? They, you know, with the, the, the puppies coming out of school. And so, yeah. and, and when people asked me, I said, no, I wasn't going to, they'd say, they'd say Are you go, aren't you going to NBC or ABC or CBS, you know, like that? And I, yeah. and I was going to say, nah, because, well, but because I, I look, Eventually, we get. I would have to get to the level of mediocrity, and either I would have to get rid of them, or they have to get rid of me. Now you know they're gonna have to get rid of me, you know. And yeah. plus, I had this whole car because I wasn't interested in, in media. I was trying to get back to theater, but that's not the point. But Ron went that route, and went that whole thing where you go to. I forgot where he went to first. Say I forget was not, not like something like Mississippi first, then 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 he goes to then he goes to San Francisco. You know, it hooks up with this, this, you know, how they go, you, you get a producer. Then, then then they came to New York. By the time he got to New York, he realized it was a ceiling. He could, They wouldn't let him go beyond editor. You know, meanwhile, I'm, meanwhile, because I had all the things I had to do with, by that time I'd been at BAI for a little while, and I had all the skills, I mean, everything. I mean, I could, I could edit, I could do everything, you know? When that's he, they were preventing him from doing everything. So when we got together at BAI, we did that, like, Invisible Immigrant, we did stuff like that. I mean, it was like, we were a terror, we were a terrifying team. I mean, oh man, Ron was like, every time I get a good partner, something happens, you know? Anyway, so he went back to school uh, for um, psychology or something like that. I think his father was a psychologist. Um, anyway, he went back to school for his, for his PhD or something like that. So he was he, he's hanging out with Ivan Van Sudermer and stuff like that, you know, because he was back at oh, Rutgers. He went uh, Van Sudermer's at Rutgers, you know. Yeah. So anyway, so what happened? But basically, that's the story. He went one route. I you know I went another route. And we ended up together. We went back together. But 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 you know he still had that sensibility. But one of the things Ron told me. He said, you know, in America, he said, no, you know what you do? If you want anything done, you just say, it's a test. It's an experiment. Or We have to have a test group or something like that. I always remember that, right? Yeah. So I say, to, to, we can test to see if these people are serious about reparations. You forget this HR, not forget that. They, they can do the HR 40. I say, okay, look, the first thing to show good faith, here's what you got to do. For ADOS, and this way, this way you can also this will be a thing where you can start identifying ADOS and trying out things. Very simple thing. Here we go. Debt jubilee. 
Yeah. Before, before anything else, you do a debt jubilee for ADOS. And you said, no, this is just an experiment. We want to, first one, we want to identify the ADOS. And no, this is not for everybody else. This is, everybody else can get into this after we get good. This is our first step. So the first thing is a debt jubilee. If your ADOS, all your debts are forgiven, don't matter what it is, done. And the funny thing is you got to do it right away so people can't game the system. That's yeah. why That's why it's an immediate test. And the only thing you have to do is just yeah. prove your ADOS. That the whole thing that we're saying, how you're gonna, how you're gonna show that somebody's ADOS, you know, whether whether you existed before 1965 or you got one grandparent is whatever, or your birth certificate say you colored or whatever, whatever, whatever your deal is, you, you get automatically a debt jubilee, no questions asked, boom. That that way we know you're all serious. Now this other stuff, the payments and all the debt due, you know, whatever else. That comes later, but first we have to identify the group, and this is a good identifier for the group, and this will would 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 start the group on uh, on on the track. You see, so you you guys as an experiment, as a good faith thing, whatever you want to say it, and so you start with a debt jubilee. That's an original idea for me via Ron McGee, the, uh, the late great uh, peace and blessings on his eternal soul, Ron McGee. Thank you very much. Okay, see. I like that. I like yeah. that. So we we'll, we'll, we we can talk. Really we, like, they like to focus on like, oh well, we'll give money to like HSBCs <laughs> and stuff like that. But that seems, you know, more like a well, we're we're kind of helping you out, you know, going forward. But what about what happened behind? No, hold you know on a second. What happened in the back on the back end? I can believe. I completely, I completely reject the HSB, the, whatever the, the historically black colleges. First of all, not every black person goes to college is ADOS. Two, if you give to those institutions, guess what? There's a lot of white people and everybody else going to those institutions. Uh, Kamala Harris went to those institutions. She's not ADOS. You know what I mean? Right. So you're just yeah. helping them. And plus, what happens when you do that? You're you're, you're doing what they did in South Africa. Well, you're 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 further trying to get a a middle class that's going to buffer your bu- bu- buffer the you from 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 the masses or for, for from real ADOS the the people that you know people in jail or whatever have you. I'm talking when I say debt jubilee, I'm talking about people everybody in jail yeah. whatever it is you you, you da, 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 which means that the ankle bracelet that you had to pay for that's taken care of. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, this, the debt you believe means any debt, including the ankle braces you got on everybody. Do you trying to make money off of that? No, oh, well, you know, hey, you know, oh, debt you believe across the board. Don't matter what, don't matter what you're launching, you ADOS. And that debt you believe, and guess what? That's still H, 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 up the H, 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 whatever, historically black colleges. Why? Yeah. Because, you know, that means your debt is you, 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 ADOS, you're going to help, that, that's, that helps out the person. That, they're trying to help out the college because since you put in the college, they, they, those colleges got a whole bunch of corrupt, uh, what do you call it, corrupt administrators anyway. It's always the middle people that's messing it up. So no, I reject that. No, I reject that completely. No, 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 no. Right? Rejected. And, and guess what? Oh, yeah. Here's the funny thing. And he said, well, well, brother, just because you don't like, you have a thing against H, H, historically black colleges. Well, people don't understand. I actually went to a historically black college. He said, no, you didn't. Your degree is from Livingston College. It's part of Rutgers University. I said, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. The, the experiment with Livingston was, if you can imagine the HBCU, whatever it is, in the middle of an Ivy League institution, that's what Livingston College was. We had the fraternities. Wow. We have, you know, we we had teachers. You know, we, I mean, uh, um, uh, 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 the noble, no, no, about the yeah, the the, the uh, beloved. You know, she she Tony Morrison. She taught it there. A B Spellman. We we have all kinds of radical teachers. It was an amazing experiment experience. I mean, I had two traveling poetry groups. <laughs> you know, they had the we had Greek fraternities there. It was a black school in the middle of a of, of a white university. That's why they killed it. You know, I was just gonna ask you: Is it still existing? No. In fact, they even took. So a, when did they kill it? About ten years ago. But in fact, I went back. I was with Loretta. Uh, the last time I came with Loretta last year, we went to the campus trying to get. I was trying to get a Livingston, you know, some jacket, something. Like no, don't even exist. They, they have Livingston campus, but they have no jackets. It's like you just got. It's under Rutgers. You know what I mean? They kill all kind. Of, this guy Blaustein was the one that killed. No, he's the. He was the the. the Head guy at the time, but this guy, uh, uh Emmanuel Mescal, Emmanuel Mescal, I call him Mescal, whatever it is. They he came from the Randall Cor- Corporation. They when he came, they, they started to kill it. Then we had a funeral, we had a funeral for the thing. 
I mean, you know, Avery, Avery Brooks, did, you know, Avery, Avery, Avery was teaching there. Everybody was there. <laughs> Had he gossip? Oh, man, it was amazing. It was an amazing school. Unbelievable. And it was successful. Man, my, my communications teacher was, was Doug Evans. He came from Antioch, man. He was a radical black guy, man. I learned statistics. When I learned statistics, I learned all I needed was statistics. They lying. That's all I need to know from statistics. <laughs> man, and this guy, um, all our teachers, I'm picking my teeth, man. Yeah. I had some, um, what's I have? Oh, I had a rap number. I forget what I had. So I'm just trying to say, it was a successful school. It was um, amazing. Do I have... Oh man, I got in my. I now had to run to another room to get to show you pictures. Maybe next, 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 next time. Anyway, it was an amazing school, an amazing experience. It was like, I think Hofstra had something going on that was close to it, and Ber it was like, it's, it's radical, like Berkeley. It, it, it was look, it was just a radical school. The let me put it: the mean age for a student there was like twenty five years old. They went and recruited cats from like the the, the pool halls in Newark. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it, I'm telling you, it was an amazing school, man. Uh, I, 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 I'm going to tell you one more thing about the school. When I what, what happened was I had taken some extension courses for Trenton State, State College because I knew I was going to go back to school. Why? I just you know, because I was through. With, I got kicked out of Bronx Community College. We won't get into all that right now because we took over the school, but we won't get into that right now. But what happened was I was in the Air Force. I was taking essential courses. I personally took it from Trent State College because I knew I was going to, I was going to go to like Rutgers or something. I knew I, knew I said, I want to go to State College. I could transfer the credits. So I went to Livingston. And when I was standing outside of the, um, the, the admission, the dean of admissions uh, office, right, there was another swinging door there. And I heard this guy, this was like 1974, right? Like in 1973, the black kids had run on the basketball court and disrupted the thing, talking about some sort of protest right there. That was in 73, that basketball season right there, right? Because they had a winning yeah. basketball team. In fact, when I was there that, that year, we it was the, the number one team. That, what was that? Phil Sellers was the, the point guard, whatever. It was, a, it was a number one basketball team, you know. It was a team like when we went to play, for instance, when we went to, uh, to play Columbia, I was in the stand, right? I would say, the ref do something. I said, yeah, ref, that's right. You should do it. I was like, I'm sitting. In, I'm sitting with Livings with, with with Rutgers, right? But I'm um, and, and and the ref is doing fair unfair things to us, you know. So because we are Columbia, right? And they doing unfair things. So I'm I'm uh, harassing the ref by by agreeing with the ref. But that guy got so <laughs> mad at me. You know how I roll, man. Oh man, the place was cracking up because I yeah, that's right, man. Blah blah blah. It was it was amazing. You know, I, I'm a disruptor. Anyway, back to the point. So, what was my point? Oh, Livingston College. Well, oh, I don't know what I was saying. I just lost my, my train of thought, man. Sorry. I'm an old man. Mm. No, it was just, it was just a good school. Uh, so, so, yeah, so, with, like you said, with the debt relief. Yeah. First thing. You know what I'm saying? Without any question, don't want to hear, dude, but we don't, we, we, dude, we, we're doing debt relief just to identify who's ADOS. Yeah. It's the first step. That's the that's the identifying marker. And that way people get debit and that, that and then that way also, here's the other thing. Then you get all these people that, that say, Oh, we we don't know about this. It can't be done. You, you know, you know, you know how we got some Negroes with it be doing like yeah, that. Yeah. It exactly. can't be done and, and blah blah blah. All of a sudden Never they'll be yeah. All of a sudden they'll be like, Oh yeah, that I, I need that. <laughs> oh, you yeah, exactly. see me come out of whip her. Oh, I wanna say something about this word Negro. To show you how bad it is right now, where people just trying to gotcha you, or these news people they grabbing short. When that guy uh, is it Roger Stone that uh, that uh, uh, Bill's um, not Bill uh, Trump's boy that he he pardoned or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, this one Barack Obama man, he should have pardoned you know Mami Abu Jamal, but we won't get into all that stuff. Anyway, so so Roger Stone was on the phone. He's supposed to be on the phone with somebody, some interview, right? They, they, and the, it was a black guy, and the black guy's like doing some inane, stupid grilling like that. And so, but so somehow the, it's not disconnected. But Roger Stone off, like off, out of the, off of the phone, talks somebody and says, he said, "I don't want to speak to this Negro like that." And then the guy complains that he 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 was biased, so he, he uttered a racial slur. You know, I say you can't mess with Roger Stone. That boy bad. I can't what you say. That's a bad white boy. I don't care what anybody say. You know what I mean? Roger Stone? Yeah, Roger Stone, man. That's a yeah. bad white boy, man. Yeah. 
Yeah. If he, if he, he say, doesn't just show up. It, not only does he just show up, he <laughs> just feels like, yo, I'm untouchable. <laughs> <laughs> No, that boy, that boy a Negro, okay? He got... Yeah, he got, that's what I'm saying. Like, he, he, got he got swag. He, he got, got swag. He got, he, got, he got spook around the ears, man. I'm telling you, that boy, he know. You know, so mess with Roger Stone if you want. But <laughs> it is, as they say, it is what it is, you know? Anyway, I want to show you the James Baldwin. This is the book right here. It's from the... Uh, the uh, the Library of America. Library of America is a series. They have all these classic people like Willa Carter, like like um, uh, um, my man uh, R Richard Wright, and they put out their books, but like unedited, not unedited, the, the definitive edition, right? So this is his Baldwin, the collected essays, right? And like there's regular essays, notes of a native son, nobody knows my name, fire next time, and no name in the street, the devil finds work, right? But they have other essays. The other essays is what's the monster, you know, when uh, uh, I say would be um, is a review from uh, from Roots. OK, uh, if, I guess the book Roots, how one black man came to be an American. Right. And yeah. um, those kind of essays. I never I never read those. You know what I mean? Cause I read yeah. the books. So now I'm here. I mean, every once in a while, I just look at I just if I want to get inspired, man, I want to really get, you know, know, know some stuff. Uh, and, and it's gone. It's goodbye. Let me see. Not um, uh, every goodbye ain't gone. I, I knew about that essay before. That other essay I just said New York Times Book Review, October nineteenth, October sixteenth, nineteen seventy seven. See those kind of things for that other one. This Dark Days one is like amazing. I read this Dark Days essay. That's amazing, man. This one came out. This is the one that came out in Esquire. Yeah, no, yeah, es Esquire, October nineteen eighty. Man. The notes of a house of bondage, man. This guy, oh man, house of bondage. Where's that? The Nation, uh, nineteen eighty. Let me put it this way: Bowen, after like nineteen seventy, whatever. Uh, this is one uh, introduction to Notes of a Native Son, nineteen eighty four. I guess it was a, a new introduction. I don't know. Um, just all kinds of essays. If we wrote that eighty four in Amherst, Massachusetts. But man, any time, any time people are saying something, they ain't said it. They ain't said it quite like or as profound as Richard Wright, you know. So that that's that's all I got to say. And all these all these you know transgender L B G Q whatever they 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 ain't did nothing right. They can't even no. quote Baldwin. They can't even quote Baldwin. They didn't even have the decency to quote Baldwin. They try to jump in front of a movement and try to. Be, they don't even want to be black. They could just claim Baldwin, you know? The yeah. play, play, uh, Playboy, January 1985. Freaks and American Freaks and American Ideal of Manhood. That's the just the title there. I bet you never mind. All I'm saying is like these folks don't know. They just don't know, you know. So anyway. So look, black man, you got something else because I'm drinking my tea. I'm tired. I'm not, I, I didn't even I didn't have my afternoon nap, man. I'm cranky. <laughs> You and me both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I did. I, I did. I tell you, I talked to my wife today. Oh, it's hilarious. I love my wife. You, I'm, I think I'm going to post that one up on uh, on uh, on Wednesday. You got to check it out because you. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny. Uh, and I and I talked to my uh, my Trump guy. Yeah, we talked religion this morning. You know, that's why I got to yeah. get. That's why I got to get a mask because he don't wear a mask. I don't wear a mask. You know, I don't, my my friends going freaking out. Whatever have you said. So I got to. I got to get a. I got. I want to get the face mask, man. I see rather than, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Mm. Okay, man. So anything else, man? When am I going to talk to you again? What is today? Today is today Thursday? No, today's what day is today? Sunday. Sunday. I oh, mean, you lose all sense of time with the, with the vid, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> man, I don't know. That's how it is now. That's how we live it. Yeah. Well, we won't say, I man. We're, we're just, uh you know, talking about it, you know, me and my wife about, uh, that has been like five months. <laughs> and that, that's, that's when, that's I mean, it's been more than five months. That's right. No, five months since everybody had to stay home. Yeah, but it's been like seven months. This guy, Dr. Robert Gallo, he was saying that they were trying to push this thing through seven months ago. Seven wow. months. Check, check out the, check out the useful Ilias. Oh, damn, man. You, you, you say you, it's eye opening. Let's put it that way. You can see how, yeah, how the wheels are turning out like that. 
Okay, man, so I'm going to take my uh, my magnesium and I also have something else I might, might take at night. I forgot what else I take at night, something else. And I'm going to sleep. Why? Because I deserve to. Oh, man, I got I got my, I got, oh, I went to Trader Joe's. I went to a bunch of things today. Went to the health food store, got some stuff. Yeah. Went to, uh, went to. Yo, let me ask you, when, when you go to um, Trader Joe's, yeah. is it like a, a madhouse and stuff is like selling out quick? Nah. Oh, so it's cool. It's normalized now. Oh, yeah, it's normalized. Yeah. People, could they still line up? You know, it's, just, it's pleasant. It's pleasant yeah. shopping at Trades and Joe's, man. It, yeah, man, I'm telling you, the, I haven't been there since um, either late May or early June. Mm-hmm. But when you went in there, it was like, yo, where's my this? Oh. Yo, where's this? <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, there's, there's only one of those left? What? What happened? <laughs> And it wasn't like I, you know, got there late in the day or anything like that. It was pretty early in the day. I was like, yo, mm-hmm. you know, this is out in Long Island, though. But it's oh. like, yo, they were just like, it was like grabbing gold, man. Wow. Now, this is this is cool, whatever it is. I mean, I got to get my, my dental floss. I got to do my dental floss. But I get yeah. I get I get this chocolate uh, ice cream that's made with coconut milk. I love it. Yeah. You know, and. Uh, yeah, the- did you get that? Um, I think it was you that um mentioned um the deodorant without uh, aluminum. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was from there. Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, okay. I, I think that was from uh, that was from a hopeful store. I think. I forgot. Oh, okay. I forgot where it was from, man. You can't ask me these questions, man. Like I, can't, yeah, I keep well, on telling you, man. You know no. what you gotta do. Take a picture and um send it to me so I can see what it looks like, and then I can get some. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah, man, because, I mean, you know, since I've been home and stuff like that, there's sometimes it's like, you know what, I don't want no, you know, since I still have the, the basic aluminum one, I'm like, I don't want to put no aluminum on today. No, don't do so that. it's like, hey, no, no, no. just go natural. No, no, no. I think I got it from uh, Virginia because they had Arm and Hammer. I used to use Arm and Hammer deodorant when I'm in the States. And I look yeah. and say, oh, they, they, but they got aluminum. No, I don't want this stuff. Yes, you don't want the aluminum. You know? I think all you have to do is just go to any reputable health food. I'm talking a health food store, a real health food store. No, nah, I've been to a few. And they don't have it? Like over the years, when especially when I was working, I was like moving around a lot. Mm-hmm. And I go to the spot and I'm like, this ain't, nah, this is ain't, this ain't it. There has to be one that's it. Well, they, they, they have ranges, man. It's the hip thing. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But the thing is that, um, like, I think in one of your pieces, you mentioned like the, um, I forgot the classic helpful store in Manhattan that, that everybody used to go to in the eighties. In the eighties? Oh, yeah, you, you're talking 125th Street. You're talking about Watkins. Yeah, that one. And then there was one in Manhattan too. No, Watkins is in Manhattan. It's on 125th Street. No, no, no. It was downtown. Downtown. Oh, oh, oh no. They're closed. You, you, you're, you're talking about um, on 13th Street, right across from the, the gay and lesbian yeah, center. Yeah, that one. Um, they're closed. They no longer yeah. exist. Um, yeah, see, that, that place spoiled me because yeah. every helpful place that I've been to ever since, and yeah. I'm saying even to this day, it's like, yeah, yeah, you, you don't have this? You don't have that? Mm-hmm. Even the spot that you mentioned in Brooklyn. I've gone to that spot in downtown Brooklyn and stuff, and it's like, eh. the, the one on Atlantic Avenue? Yeah, over there. They don't. That, he's got a pretty big place there. He's got a lot yeah, of space. I know, it's pretty big. You're talking about the one that's on, it's near J Street, that one, right? Yeah, the Hoyt, the Hoyt and Skimmerhorn, Hoyt, Hoyt, is it Hoyt? Hoyt in Atlantic. Oh, Hoyt in Atlantic. Now, I haven't been to that one, I gotta check that one out. Yeah, I think I'm talking about the one that's right off of J near Lawrence. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, that's a big one too. Yeah. It's pretty long. Yeah. You got that? like the juices in the back. Yeah, no, I don't. Like I don't. a juice bar in the back. No, no, this was, I don't think this one has a juice bar at all. No, check it out. It's 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 on it's on Atlantic. You get you get off the Hoyt Skimmerhorn stop. I yeah. I don't know if it's Hoyt Street, whatever street is, is is at least a block from there. It's so it's, it's you just go to Atlantic. It's just there. It's there. It's down some some place there. That it's, oh, okay. it's a brother. That far as I can tell, you know, yeah. and and he has some stuff. But my go to place right. is is really just uh, Watkins on Hunt Twenty Fifth Street. And you know who's really disappointing too? Whole Foods. Oh man! Trying to get like you know your herbs and stuff like that from no. there, even some vitamins and stuff. I'm like, no. I can I I mentioned things to the some of the workers. They're like looking at me like I don't know what you're talking about. They're 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 cashier. They don't have no information, man. 
You know that. You know what I'm saying? But like, what? Who I'm really talking about are the people that are following me while I'm in there looking for the stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the so-called worker security guy. So when I turn around and ask them, <laughs> "Hey, I'm looking for this. I'm in this area. This is exactly what I'm looking for." Oh, Sometimes even showing them a, a visual picture of what it looks like, oh, no. and they cannot find it. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. man. No, uh, so then I just go, oh, so you're just here to watch me. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, we used, me and my fraternity brother, Ron Mason, we used to do this stuff all the time. We were back in the day, you know, like Macy's always discriminate, but what's that other one? I forgot, Bomb would tell her, one of those big, one of those big, big stores, I mean, like, yeah. I don't know, eight, eight stories, or whatever, department store. We used to go to the top floor and go quiet, we walk and we talk down the East Department because it was set up, to us it was like going to a museum. It's like a, a, a modern day museum. So we go, look at this stuff, just have a conversation. We take us a whole afternoon. And of course security be following us around. We didn't care, we didn't buy nothing. We went through the whole museum thing, <laughs> basically, and walked out. What could they do? <laughs> oh, you want to follow a black man? Okay, fine. While the white people are ripping you off. You know, so yeah. somebody was telling me they was there was a security guard, and the most people that were that was stealing was like Asians and um, and white women. <laughs> All white women. <laughs> so we be the cover for these things, man. Hey, okay, lose your stuff. Yeah. Okay, like that. Okay, man, let's end it here because you know people don't want to hear us talk about nothing. All right. All right, man, so yes. go check out useful videos right now. Yeah, man, do, man. You, it's worth your while. I'll talk to you. All right, take it easy. All right, later.